So today we've got the Feedem 2 X2 555 rather than the 550. This one's a little bit faster. And we're going to see if this one unlocks as well. There we go, it's now a Phenom 2 X4 B55. So it has unlocked four cores, hopefully. See if it's stable in a second. I'm going to change the core activation onto manual. I'm going to bench it as a three core CPU first. And we'll probably start with a 10% overclock of 220. And uh, see how it goes from there. So previously my best score with this CPU is a dual core, you can see it was 218, and now it's 272, that's at only 3.5 GHz, so it's gained about the same performance as a Athlon 630 or 635 at stock, and it's only running 3 cores at 3.5 GHz, so I'll continue increasing that speed. Uh, it should do around 3.8 to 4 gigahertz, hopefully. With all three cores unlocked, we're over 4 gigahertz now, which is pretty nice. Didn't think it'd get over 4 gigahertz because it only just managed over 4.1 with two cores, so that's pretty good. So we've managed to get it all the way up to almost the same speed that it was running um, with two cores at. So it scored 3.73 and 11.5. For some reason, the Phenoms uh, struggle with R15. So R15 runs at a lower clock than 11.5. So on R15, it topped out just under 4.1. I'm pretty pleased that it does over 4.1. I've had to up the voltage a little bit, but it just does over 4.1. Uh, so now I'm going to unlock the fourth core and see how that affects the speed. So we're going to go ahead and enable the fourth core now. And what I've done is I've just backed off the overclock back to 3.8 gigahertz. I'm also just going to lower the voltage back down to 1.5 volts. We'll see how this goes. It's got all four cores now. Hopefully it will be stable. If it does over 4 GHz I'll be very pleased. So as you can see here we're at 4 GHz on all 4 cores at 1.5 volts. And it did just crash uh, with a 124 which means it doesn't have enough core voltage basically. And that was running R15. So I'm going to run the exact same settings but in R11.5 and see if it blue screens on that. So you can see here at the exact same settings it's managed to run R15 perfectly fine at over 4 GHz. So basically R15 is more difficult for phenoms for some reason. Must be the instructions or whatever it uses but there we go. Over 4 GHz on 4 cores for 11.5 realistically it would probably only do 3.9 ish uh, if you wanted to run everything stable.